Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Lucy Dreaming. We managed to find our local words in the last episode so that we could help out the pie reviewer slash former police officer and get some info on the murder case. Now we've been told that all of the case files are being auctioned off at the, uh, the police tent in the village fake. This guy is back now, so let's take a little detour and talk to him. Uh, how did the toilet cleaning go? How did the toilet cleaning go? Oh, pink gruncher stuff worked like a jam, thanks. No worries, this a uh, drink for kids, would you believe? Please, can I have a go? Please, can I have a go? Go for it. It's free now, anyway. Yes! I been... it's free. We were charging a pound a go, but some old dear wanted a turn and dropped her purse in the mud. Oh. Then the cash all fell out of her purse. <gasps> then she slipped and fell on top of the cash. Oh. Then the mallet slipped and fell on top of her. That is it. Stop charging in case she tried to sue us or something. change of it. That's it. looking after her now. Although, I'm not sure who's looking after him. Yeah. Uh, God, that is a... Uh... <laughs> That's a horrible sequence of events. What money did she drop? What money did she drop? No idea. The tits came and picked up most of it. Anything else will be under all this mud. If you see her, tell her not to sue me, all right? Right. So we need a pound to be able to join the auction, right? So it's either going to be in this mud or the uh, the tits have taken it up to the roof, in which case we know how to get that down. Can I have a go at Goosey Wallop, though? Can I have a go at Goosey I've been Wallop? I've dying to play this. Do you want me to explain the rules to you? Yes. Go on, then. Yeah, go on, then. One. Touch the goose to make it spin. Right. Two. Throw your mallet and try to hit it on the head. Right. If you wait until it's spinning too slowly, your throw won't count. Ah, oh, no. If you manage three wallops in a row, you get a prize. Three in a row? But budgets were cut this year, so it's only one prize per customer. Okay. Do you want me to repeat the rules? I think, I think we got it, mate. It's, um... Nah. It's pretty I'd simple, actually. Fair enough. Well, let's wallop. All right. Well... Oh, good God. This is, uh, quite difficult. Wow, that's a uh, very, very, uh... <laughs> Oh, no. Okay, right. It's quite difficult, it turns out. Ooh! That's all your spins for this go. How did you do? I didn't manage a single No, I didn't. Hey, I thought you said you were good at this. Uh, we never Got said that. Another go. Yeah, let's have another go. Yes, please. I don't know what the prize is going to be. I think, I think, if I remember right, speaking to Tom, this is just like an entirely optional oh, minigame. Although I could see myself sitting here for hours trying to... Yes! trying to win this that's all your spins for this go how did you do no not great I I'll be honest one wallet. could be worse could Fancy another go yeah yeah let's have another go yes, we'll have please. we'll have one more go I might have to do this off camera <laughs> and uh report back in the next episode oh that was close ah oh, okay I think we might have Sort of sussed when you have to do it. That's all your spins for this. G yeah, How yeah, we didn't do, do great. One again. Could be worse. It, it, you another go? You're right. It could be worse. Yes, we'll do one please. more go, and this is seriously the last go on camera. Okay, that that I, I didn't wait long enough. Oh, oh it's so evil. Okay, right. That's all your spins for this go. How did you do? One again. I only managed one wallet. Could be worse. Fancy another go. Yeah, no, that's that's good for no, now. I'm all walloped out for now. Fair enough. Okay, so we've got this mud, right? Where we need to find the pound. Uh, by the way, I, I could already... Aha, mud. Where is it? There. No outdoor event would be the same without it. Can we dig it up using the thing? I don't want to dig around just anywhere. Okay, so we don't want to dig around just anywhere. Uh, can we use the metal detector thing on it? It works better on soft ground. Oh, okay. What does that mean? It might work better on grass. On grass? Okay, so if it's in the mud, how are we going to do that? So can we not use it here? Oh, we can. Um, right, so a pound... Hang on, let's think about this. A pound is is going to be gold, I guess. And the, obviously it was like that day. I wonder if I need to tweak the detector's settings. I mean, is, is a pound... I mean, a pound coin looks gold. 
but it's not actually is it is it actually made out of gold? I don't actually know what a pound coin is made out of. Is it made out of brass? Yeah, it could be. Ooh, I just found a pound. Nice! Alright, we got the pound. Cool. So it's made out of brass. Did not know that. There we go. We've learnt something new today, which is excellent. Um In we go, I guess. We've got our pound, so I suppose the question is how do we um Give me the money. You need to bid first. Oh right, so we have to pay a pound, right? Looks fine. like they were expecting a slightly larger turnout. So we're bidding the pound. I thought we had to pay a pound to like get into the bidding. Right. Is everybody ready for the auction to begin? Yeah, just us. I said, is everybody ready for the auction to begin? Yes. Oh, uh, yes. Okay. First up is this fine semi-automatic rifle behind me. What am I bid? No, I don't want that. Ten pounds to start. Do I see ten at the back of the room? No. Five. Do I hit five? No. Three then. Do I have three? We don't back want in it. the room for two pounds. <laughs> One pound it is. I have a pound. We don't want it. Is that a bid from the young lady who presumably has a gun license at the front? <laughs> um, no. I guess not. Fine. That's going to be a no. I'll just put it down as unsold, like everything else today. We're here for a very particular item. Right. Last item. Which I'm hoping is the a last large item. large box containing all the evidence from the Fergus Fig murder investigation. Yes, that's what we want. <sighs> Should we just dispense with the theatre this time? Yeah, one pound. What have you got? <laughs> what have you got? <laughs> you can have my metal detector, I probably won't need it anymore. A set of used stripy pyjamas. A glass eye I yanked out of a dead badger head. A trowel I used to dig up some hallowed earth near the church. I want to see what happens if I don't bid at all. Uh, I mean, you could have my metal detector. One pound. <laughs> <sighs> I suppose it'll buy me a twax bar at the shop. There you go. Going, going, gone. Yes. Sold to the young girl with the already bulging rucksack at the front <laughs> for one pound. Yay. To say that today has been grossly unprofitable would be an understatement. <sighs> I'm going on a break. All right, bye. Nice. That'll be one pound, please. Nice uh, bulletproof vest, by the way. Thank you. Seems slightly unnecessary. Don't, you know, touch the guns and stuff, all right? No, no, we won't. Wouldn't dream of it. Not a girl. Go, go on then, off you go. Right, where's our winnings? Right, let's have a rummage in that box. Which box is it? It's this one. There's loads of stuff in here, all bagged up. Okay. It's information that I'm after, though. Ah. Here's the case file. Case file. Let's take a look inside. Here we go. This is the good stuff, guys. It looks like some of the pages are missing. Oh, it no. It doesn't even tell me the date of the murder. It has the details of two crucial pieces of evidence, though. The DNA sample found at the scene and the sword with blood on the blade and fingerprints on the handle. Okay. I agree. It's pretty compelling. But something tells me there's more to it. It mentions Horatio's interview recorded on the night of the murder. Mm -hmm. Shame the interview cassette's not here too. I bet that would shed some more light on the case. Yeah. I wonder if I can discover what happened to it. Maybe, I don't know. Right, let's examine. Apparently, the DNA sample was hair retrieved from the fist of the victim. It looks like Fergus yanked a clump of it off his attacker. The DNA match to Horatio was 89%. With a 99.9% .9 likelihood that it belonged to a close blood relative or sibling. Huh. So it was definitely a close family member. I wonder if there's anyone else who fits the bill. Yeah. I'll ask around. That's, that is, you, you know, I've had this this sort of um, theory all along that, that Lucy's mum or dad could be something to do with this. And look, as well, the two vases are here. And of course, one of the vases is at the house now. So it's only 89% as well. So could it be... That Lucy's mum is like a sister of the figs or something, possibly. I don't know. Um, so the DNA evidence, DNA evidence, sword evidence. Here we go. Let's According this. to the coroner's report, the murder weapon was a sharp blade, exactly like the one found hidden at Fig Hall. It appears that Horatio had attempted to hide it up the chimney. That's weird. There's a photo of the scene, and you can even see the dried blood on the blade. Oh yeah. Forensic analysis confirmed Horatio's fingerprints on the hilt. Okay. And that the blood was 100% match for his brother, Fergus. This photo reminds me of one I've seen somewhere before. Huh. Okay. 
what's what's that about? Is that is that like a hint? I'm, I'm not sure if I want to click that if it's a hint because it seems like you can click it and hold it. I, I'm not going to do that for now. Um, it might be a hint. I don't want to click a hint. So we've got all that. This is it's, it's this vase which intrigues me the most. Why is it in our house? You know that's that's the thing, isn't it? So we got that. Um, let's have a look at our book now. Locate the interview cassette. That's what we're going to have to do. That that's going to be our next step. Um, also, I, I can already preempt the comments from Goosey Wallop from people who'd be like, you know, I completed Goosey Wallop within five minutes, Turian, and you're you're crap at the game. And the answer to that is yes, I am terrible at games like that, but they're fun. So there you go. If you completed it quicker than than I have, and I still haven't completed it, good for you. Well done. Um, I, I suck at video games for the most part, which is probably why I play adventure games. So uh, here we go, because I can I can solve puzzles pretty well. Action-y type clicky things I'm not very good at. So there we go. Let's go to Fickle. Let's see if we can... Um, see, look, the vase is gone. It's definitely got to be the one in our house. It doesn't look like there's much to see now. It's all been cleaned up. I wish I could go back in time. I mean, that... There are some photos showing how it looked 40 years ago, if that helps. Uh, that... Thanks. I'm looking into old events, but not that old. So where would she have seen the photo of this before? Is it like on the guide or something? Guides to Fig Hall. Can we grab one of those? I don't need one. No. Okay. So where are these photos that she was talking She's about? She's watching everything I do. I haven't seen any photos of it. Uh, did Horatio Fig have, have any other close family? Did Horatio Fig have any other close family? Oh, it's possible. Uh, apart from Fergus, they were a pretty secretive bunch. There could have been an old herd of them living here for all we know. Hmm. There was a family tree hanging on that back wall when the Heritage Trust first took over. Really? Oh, but that was stolen at the same time as one of the antique vases. Huh. No prizes for guessing who was on duty that day. Was it him? Marjorie. Marjorie. Oh, Marjorie, they yeah. They never even took a copy of it, so unless someone finds it, we'll never know. <sighs> okay, where's the family tree now? Where's the family tree now? <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> it was stolen around the same time as that priceless vase went walkabouts. Okay, what happened to the other vase? What happened to the other vase? It was stolen while Marjorie was on duty. Damn that Marjorie. Oh yeah, the curly whirly. Yeah, said. that's the one. Quite. It's probably found its way into the house of a wealthy collector by now. Mm, no, it hasn't. It's in our house. Bye. Oh, come again soon. Yeah, thanks. It's good to see your continuing interest in local history. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. Let's go back to our house and have a look at this vase, shall we? Because it's very suspicious. It's the same as the one at Fig Hall. Apparently, the other one was stolen at the same time as the Fig family tree. I guess we can add kleptomaniac to my mother's list of disturbing conditions. I wonder if it holds any clues. Good question. Can we get it? So, it was stolen at the same time as the family tree. I'll take a closer look. Nice, okay. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, there's a large piece of canvas rolled up inside. Nice! Can't get it out, though. Oh, damn it. So it's stuck inside. Um, do we have anything that could could get that out? I always feel like we need, like, a pair of tweezers or something like that. Maybe the pliers? Weren't there pliers somewhere? Uh, did we... I'm sure we used pliers earlier in the game. Am I going mad? Maybe we did, I don't know. Um, okay. So, let's head upstairs. I mean, we could we could always smash the vase, I suppose, but I don't really want to do that. Um, there's no tools in here, is there? So, let's, let's have a it look at it. It was stolen from Fig Hall and has a rolled up piece of canvas inside. I need to find something long but soft to get it out with. Something long but soft to get it out. Okay, what could that be? I mean, nothing's really jumping to mind. Long but soft. Okay, I'm guessing it's probably not... Has that always been there? The foot of the stairs. Oh, I see. The, the vase was on it. I've never noticed it was a foot no before. Thanks. 
Hmm, okay. Well, something long but soft to get the... To get the... the what I'm guessing is the family tree out. Uh... Weirdly enough, that's not one of our goals, to get that. Maybe it comes in later or something. We need to figure out this cassette, though. So, for now, let's hold off on our... Oh, this lady's here now. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Enjoying your twacks? Enjoying your twacks? It's okay. I'm sure they used to be bigger. <laughs> for those who aren't in the UK, literally everyone in the UK complains that chocolate bars used to be bigger than they are now there was oh yeah they're getting more expensive and they're getting smaller this is just like a it's like a fact of life really uh what can you tell me about horatio's interview what can you tell me about horatio's interview well that was a long time ago love it was recorded on the night of the murder when was that exactly look i don't mean any offense but could you just drop it no leave the detecting to the detectorist is that the word there's no need to lose any sleep over it that's precisely my problem. It is, yeah. I just know there's more to it than the case file suggests. It's the premise of the whole game. What was the exact date of the murder? What was the exact date of the murder? This case is closed. What if I could prove that the original evidence isn't strong enough to support the case? Then you'd tell me? There's something about this case. Brings out the obsessive nature in people. <laughs> something tells me there's more to it. I can't explain why. Yeah. <sighs> Whatever. In the unlikely event, you can cast serious doubt on both pieces of evidence in the case file. I'll throw all caution to the wind and tell you, like it'll make any difference. Okay, fine. So, the DNA evidence, we could potentially debunk that if we can get the family tree, right? Because then it could be someone other than Horatio. The sword might be slightly more difficult. I'm not really sure about that one yet. Um, what evidence do you need me to debunk? What evidence would you need me to debunk? Both of them. The DNA and the murder we weapon. We can do DNA, definitely. What was it you said about the police chief? What was it you said about the police chief? I didn't, but seeing as you asked, you couldn't talk about the fig case around him. He'd flip his lid. Oh, and he was obsessed with a weekly local radio show which played chart music. Okay. He used to record the episodes onto a cassette each week. Ah. Right after the fig murder, he was too busy to buy any cassettes and ran out. So he used he the murder tape. He went scouring the whole town for one. His home, the shops, even police station. I think he found one in the end, but we all gave him a pretty wide berth after so that. So he used the interview including tape. Including his wife. She left him and gave all his stuff away to charity. Charity shop! Charity shop. Okay. Fine. See ya. Right, charity shop. But I tell you what, guys, we are out of time, so we're going to have to go to the charity shop in the next one, even though we're on a roll and I really want to carry on. But, you know, that's just how it is sometimes. So, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, and Coomadin. And I'll see you next time.